Hi there. How are you doing, sweetheart? It is your girl, Jalissa. Please like, share, comment, subscribe wherever you found me. Bless. So I'm blessing you guys with a new year reading, okay, before the new year enters, okay? So what do you need to know, Capricorn? This is for Capricorn. So if you have Capricorn anywhere in your chart, then this reading is for you. If I didn't already say it, please like, share, comment, subscribe wherever I'm at. Thank you. Bless. All right, so your general message that I got over here in the very beginning of your reading um, is that someone's working against you behind your back, all right? There's a rat here, all right? So rats are snitches. So there's somebody, like, sharing your business or there's somebody that is oversharing in, in some way or another in your life. I'm getting you need help, you need assistance, or you need some sort of guidance. And all you have to do is ask, all right? Pray for it, ask for that guidance or that support. It is okay to ask for help. Sometimes we need them. You hear the loud car? Confirmation. All right, because I'm getting like, I don't know. I feel like Thanksgiving was significant because we got the turkey coming out here. October, November could have been very significant when it comes to this rat or this snitch. I'm getting that... um. Something could have happened around October or November that would let you know that would be a clue where um, this information is coming from. Okay, I'm getting that with hard work and good planning, you will have success, Capricorn, this new year. Okay, I'm getting you're leaving the, the bad behind. All right, but it's like a transition. Okay, we don't just like sometimes it's hard for us to cut cords with certain people and situations. It takes time. So I see that you do need a little bit of help. You are going to need a little bit of help cutting this person off or with this situation at hand. I'm getting by May, which is the springtime. Things are going to be much better for you, Capricorn, much better for you. I'm getting that you will be taken care of during difficult times. I'm getting that um, you're also going to have some sort of compliments or love coming in for an admirer, someone that's going to catch you by surprise because you don't even see it coming. This is someone new, someone that you're not talking to, all right, that you're not in the mix with yet, but that person will be coming in before spring and they're going to uplift your energies, okay? So you do have money coming in. You have the golden egg, but this is only with hard work and good effort, all right? So as long as you're pushing and you're persevering for those goals, those dreams, um, as long as you're keeping that ambition high, you're not letting the smoke or the distractions or the snitches or whatever is going on here distract you from that goal, you're going to get there is what the universe wants you to know by May, by the springtime. I do see that some of you guys recently left the job. If not, you're leaving a job. I'm getting... um. You leave a job to get a new job is what I'm seeing. So you're changing endeavors or you're changing positions is what I'm seeing. There was some sort of betrayal with that. All right. So you may have taken some losses or you will experience some losses at a certain job. But this is to put you in a new position. OK, so it's change. And the way the change is happening may be very uncomfortable. But at the end of the day, it benefits you. OK, is what I'm seeing here. I do see you celebrating. All right, so when it comes, all right, let me just tell you what's over here, then I'll tell you what's over there because we're touching different areas. All right, so in general, I see that there will be a lot of gossip. There will be a lot of conversation, okay, because of the switch of jobs. Something's going on with a job and people snitching at work. So I don't know if it's something you're doing or people just hating on you or what's going on, but there's like a lot of chatter at work. So I see you changing either positions or employment overall. I feel like it will be celebrated privately with you and your friends and your close ones. You're going to feel like this is bad luck, but honestly, the way I'm seeing it is a level up, okay? So it's like God, the universe source is making you uncomfortable so you can move. So you could grow, so you could change. And the change is beautiful. It's going to be heavy. I'm not going to lie to you, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to sit here and tell you dreams are just going to unfold right now. No, it's going to come through sweat, blood, sweat, and tears is what I'm seeing. Through blood, sweat, and tears, drama, gossip, possibly a little bit of arguments, you're becoming the best version of yourself, Capricorn, because you have ops around you with the rat, all right? Like, you really do. You got the rat. Those are the first two cards that came out, the rat and the turkey. The rat is a snitch, someone working against you, and then you got the turkey here, which is someone acting stupid, all right? So someone's being stupid working against you. They've been doing this ever since October and November, talking too much, all right? And it's been causing some sort of issues here for you is what I'm seeing because I see you holding everything by yourself. Like, I see you at the end of the day feeling like, you're taking care of everything and everyone, and I see you very focused. Like, you need to get this cheddar. You need to get this bread. You need to make this money, all right? So this is pushing you. So you're, you're being put in a very uncomfortable position to push forward and become the best version of yourself, okay? So it's not 
is not coming through to break you. It's to make you, all right? So it's all about your perspective and your mindset. But I do see you overcoming it. I do see you looking at your crops, too, and you're like, damn, shit got dry, all right? And it's because you have the wrong people around you or you have the wrong people around you. And so these folks or these people or this person, whatever, is not good for your energy or your um, success. But I see you're very talented and you're very focused. Like, when you want something, you focus. So I see you doing that. Like, this is pushing you to overcome some sort of bad karma. Because I'm seeing karma here. So I don't want you to think, like, oh, my God, somebody's throwing bad karma at me. No. This is karma that we must pay karma. Everybody pays karma in their lifetime. Depending on their past lives, too, and all that other stuff, that's a whole other conversation. But what I'm seeing here is that this is some sort of karma that needs to be paid. All right? So it's going to come off like bad luck, unlucky, a terrible time. But in all reality, you're going to see at the end of the road what comes out of that. And you're going to be like, wow, not for nothing, it was worth it. Because I see you birthing a new life, a new world for yourself. And you're doing better. You're with better people. It's a better energy. All right, so I see a switch of jobs or positions. Keep going. Your business will thrive and profits will be rolling in. So just keep pushing and stay in your lane. OK, because this card here, stay in your lane. You can't see the opportunities around you because you're too busy envying other people's opportunities. All right. I'm not trying to come for nobody. I'm very raw. All right. And it's whatever the universe wants to come through and say. But Capricorn it's telling me here that you're too busy looking at other people's opportunities or you're too busy. Um envying possibly what other people have, all right? And listen, we all compare. We compare and we contrast. It's a natural human thing, okay? So don't don't get triggered with me, please. I love you, <laughs> okay? So this is, com this is like, um, this is valid criticism for somebody that needs it. If it doesn't fit, don't make it, don't make it fit. Let it fly, right? But I'm getting, there's a Capricorn out here that needs to stay in their lane. They're getting occupied it's like when you're driving you're in your lane you're you're watching all your mirrors you're watching the road ahead of you you're going to get to where you're going but if you're in your lane and you're over here watching the other cars and you're not watching what's in front of you you will crash all right so that's what the universe is basically saying stay in your lane and don't worry about what nobody else got going on because that's their lane and you got your own lane and you got your own blessings coming so don't compare yourself to nobody all right your blessings are your blessings all right but if you do decide to for whoever I'm talking to, if you do decide to continue to focus on other people's opportunities and continue to, like, measure yourself against other people, your business will fail. And that's the warning with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse is bad karma. All right, so you're just being warned, baby. Like, don't compare yourself to nobody or your crops will go dry. Don't, don't battle or compete with nobody because your crops will grow they will go dry you will end up losing some sort of competition or comparison at the end of the day and it's unfortunate and it's not because the other person is better than you it's because you're distracted and you're not focusing on yourself all right that's why so the universe is warning you here you're going to end up creating overload for yourself and stress for yourself that you don't even need all right you're putting too much focus on money right now capricorn try doing something that will leave you feeling fulfilled on all levels right now all right so don't worry about how much money you're making worry about how you're making it and if it's satisfying you and consider going into business with your family you will benefit by going into business with your family it will bring big changes now when it comes to love there's an apology coming through i'm getting somebody has very deep regret and guilt and they will be apologizing to you for something they did to you they're going to want to bring more balance into the connection is what i'm seeing because they feel like you know when y'all good y'all good but when y'all bad is no good all right i see that um you are a sucker for romance. You're a sucker for love. Hey, aren't we all blessed? You're a hopeless romantic. I get it. I have a big heart, too. All right, so I see you searching for love. I see you, like, wanting that true love. All right, um, I'm getting in spring. That's when that true lover is coming. It's an admirer. It's someone totally new. Until then, you have somebody here that's going to be apologizing to you, the devil. All right, someone that could be obsessed with you, um, be very attracted to you. Um, there's addictions here. There's shadow work that needs to be done. There's some sort of addiction with sexuality, all right? So there could be, like, a very intense chemistry between you and this person that keeps you guys hooked, possibly on and off, all right? So this person will continue to apologize to you, but they have a lot of shadow work to do, and they're not going to get it right is what I'm getting here in this timeline. What's going to end up happening is you're going to meet someone new by the springtime, and I love you. Happy New Year's. Bless. <laughs> All right, is it done?